Apart from being a power distributor in the areas where there is high power theft, this is how Umeme is also perceived. Actually, you can do business. You can do business with the community in respect of where they are. All you do, like the um, LOC was saying, that they see us as um, enforcement officers. But actually, it's two-way. We can co-share, we can coexist, right? And we do good to each other. Apparently, brute force alone may not successfully fight power theft. And Umeme seems to have changed strategy and adopted a pacifist approach to the problems with the first beneficiaries in Nankulabi. Therefore, us choosing to address security through using our core competence of lighting, empowering the community through skilling and bringing partners who can pass skills, and the future debt possibly through government programs which can provide equipment, tailoring machines, welding machines, you know, we can jointly spark a revolution for developing Uganda while addressing the government agenda. So after making your money, and not only the money, but even the valuables you have to sell, when you're carrying them in your bag back home, you are now secure. You have the light, you have the guarantee that when people are along the roads, they can see you. So if somebody pounces into you, maybe somebody can easily come to your rescue. Besides the street lighting, about 100 people from this community are to receive training in practical skills, including, among others, becoming certified women. This is a pilot that is expected to be replicated elsewhere. Rachel Nabisubi, NTV Business.